Hey there Capricorn, Capricorn Rising, and of course all of you Capricorn Moon people out there, this is your monthly tarot forecast for September 2021. And just a quick heads up, no I'm not appearing in the recording or on video here. We have a lot of cards here because we're doing a rather extra Celtic cross for the monthly spread, and people like to see the cards, and you know it's easier to see the cards when they're on full screen. That being said, I do want to remind you, if you are watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign forecast is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up, and your moon sign forecast is going to give you the side story, the less prominent, albeit still significant, uh, side story that is going on throughout the course of this month. And so we do have this rather large spread here to talk about the whole month, and this is how we're going to go through it. We're going to start off on the left-hand column, and we're going to talk about the appraisal of the month, the chief themes, chief energies, and foci, and the culmination of the month, or how we close up the month going into October. Then we are going to look at money, messages, challenges, and love as per the right-hand column, because the title of the video, comprehensive, not just one topic. And then we are going to, of course, talk about the story of September as it unfolds. So going to the bottom of the left-hand column here, where you sit and what's going on between you and your environment, you do have the King of Swords upright and the Empress upright. And what I'm seeing here is that this month is all about a life plan game changer or a life plan life path optimizer because with the king of swords there is a lot of correcting and perfecting going on to all areas of your life there is this very strong focus on eliminating a lot of bs and eliminating a lot of dysfunctional unhealthy imbalanced and just all in all non-conducive experiences and circumstances that may actually be cluttering up your life experience, whether it has to do with, um, you know, activities that seem to be going on or unhelpful people, situations where you might actually be maybe investing your time, energy, and money in the wrong things, or even where you have decided to place yourself in your own life or what you prioritize in your life because the king of swords is coming in and showing you where exactly it's time to get to work on correcting and perfecting how things have been so far this is also a time where a lot of maybe your plan for the rest of this year and maybe even next year as well is starting to become a lot more crystal clear and a lot of the unnecessaries, a lot of the distractions, a lot of the stuff that really does not need to be a consideration that doesn't belong will be revealed and released. And so if you've been kind of looking at uh, the future, especially the short term future, you're going to be finding that the King of Swords is actually helping you isolate and claim the best path and while also revealing and releasing those things that you might think you absolutely must do or achieve that you don't need to. And you might even be unburdening a lot of uh, attachments as well, or a lot of responsibilities that no longer belong to you or never did. With the Empress card, it is a time for you to actually start migrating to healthier environments, more conducive environments, more abundant environments. And the, that option, that opportunity is also going to be consistent this month. You are actually finding that you are rising out of a situation in your life or rising out of what has been a consistent normal in your life, whether it's your professional life, your home life, your family life, you know, your social connections all across the board with the Empress, what's happening here is that you're kind of getting plucked from one world and dropped into a completely new one. But the cool thing about the King of Swords and the Empress card upright is, is that these energies are working together and it is actually a terrific fit. It may be something you have to get used to, especially because the King of Swords is also doing a lot of untraining, unlearning work with you this month, tutoring you in sort of how to actually be in this new world and also releasing any of the unhelpful lessons, strategies, coping mechanisms, or patterns that held the other world or the lower reality you, you're moving out of uh, intact. The hopes and fears card, or as I like to term it, the primary concern or the 
bottom line of the month is the Justice card upright. And we have this, once again, emphasis on correcting of misaligned paths, correcting of misaligned uh, maybe choices, and co a correcting of misaligned commitments. Things that ultimately have no business in your life anymore are going back to where they belong. And things that maybe have been kept from you, that belong with you, that either they, they belong to you because they're a part of your story, they belong to you because they're your property, or they belong to you because it is actually a part of your true life path, everything is getting put back where it belongs. Now, the Justice card upright could indicate this month could have its fair share of controversy as well, however, because there is a retroactive feel to this effect. So there's also the correcting of a lot of things that maybe got created or committed or exchanged under false pretenses. And there could be some uh, reveals going on throughout the course of this month as well uh, to getting the other sides of stories and I am seeing some exposure situations going on as well, especially in situations where people are in roles or in positions or in spaces in your life that they do not belong, right? It's kind of like finding out somebody should not have the job they have, you know, because the only reason they got it is because they're a good BSer or they memorized, you know, the first two pages of the orientation book and yet they have no skill for it. They're not a good match for it. So anything that doesn't belong to you that may have been kind of thrust upon you is going back to where it belongs and anything that should be with you and, and does belong to you to handle is coming back to you as well. And then we are building up from there. As far as the end of the month goes, or the culmination of the month, what we're leading up to as we approach October, at the end of September, of course, obviously, we have the King of Cups reversed. And this could be a month that has very, very high highs, but at the same time, there will be some emotionally challenging moments, especially when it comes down to you having to kind of turn your back on a lot of unhealthy things or unhealthy people or unhealthy pursuits that did have a home with you at some point or you felt at home with at some point. We are actually removing the cause, core, and effect of a lot of internal and external problems that you have lived with or even learned to cope with for a very long time. And so there could be moments of a reality crisis, an identity crisis, maybe even, yes, relationship and family challenges, because as this month proceeds and a lot of the distortion and a lot of the veils and confusion get cleared and reorganized, things that were built on shaky ground or things that were built on half-truths or things that were built in ways that were inauthentic or inorganic are getting exposed and we're going to have to reacquaint ourselves with everybody and have all of the things that we've been connected to all of the things we've been pursuing re-evaluated to see if they still fit but remember the empress and the king of swords upright this is all in the interest of getting you where you fit and a lot of that dysfunction and distortion that could still have an emotional uh, resonance with you or may tug at your heartstrings isn't coming along for the ride. And so there could also be some heartache over the dropping of certain pastimes, certain traditions, and yes, even people that are not keeping current with where everyone is getting a chance to evolve and grow and start to function in a more evolved and abundant way. As we get on to the material realm, talking about your work, your job, your finances, household matters, right, your practical affairs, you have the Seven of Swords upright. And there may be some revelations coming this month as well around information relating to a financial or professional matter that has been tampered with. And you are going to need to look and see, you know, what the situation is objectively and clearly. Now, this could be something that occurs this month, or this could be something that we dig up, that we find out from the past. The Seven of Swords is indicating that, yes, a lot of this is in the interest of control uh, on the part of whatever party is committing the, you know, the manipulation, the fudging of numbers, 
uh, the glaring omissions, sin of, om sin of omission, all of that kind of stuff. Some of this information could be ornamental. A lot of it, however, is important for you to understand because not only is it showing you the motives of, you know, maybe somebody who's operating in that kind of, you know, shady trash way, but you're also seeing where you maybe have been delayed in some kind of ascent, some kind of growth, some kind of jump in your own material wealth, your job prowess, or the opportunity to step up into a higher station due to being deprived of this information or having this information tampered with. But fear not, okay, as we step into this month, remember the Justice card is also working on a lot of corrections. And so I do feel that this will, of course, not only get discovered, but the correction of the wrongs done or the distortions committed will also be occurring. Now, if you know anyone who's already doing this, it's not happening to you, you're just in the proximity, I would distance myself from that. Again, shady trash, because whoever is doing it, they're getting caught, okay? And uh, if you're my little brother and you're watching this, let me know if you catch someone. I'll sort it myself. As we get on to your community card, friend, relative, other people in your life, you know, all of the platonic support system you have, you do have the death card upright. And I do see um, you actually parting ways with a friend or a relative that you have long since outgrown. This could be a contact that maybe we had a closer connection to once upon a time, but we have grown apart. This is most likely something that you'll see coming. I say this about the death card a lot. This is a natural transition. This is not a surprise or anything along those lines. It could be this month that uh, it's just a step to, they, they take a step too far and you decide you're, you're done with them. Or it could be that maybe they, right? Because the Seven of Swords could indicate, you know, something going on with family or household manners. It might not always have to do with your job. It could be that that is tied together and that is the final straw for you there. However, I am seeing your whole social support system, your social contact list going through a major transformation. I do feel because the Empress is also a major impactor on your social life and your environmental surroundings, it could be that you are trading a lot of not so great friends, not so great family connections or contacts for what is adopting you this month. Okay, and we're kind of leaving it behind. You know, again, Matilda is getting adopted out of her dysfunctional house. As we get on to the challenge of the month, we do have the King of Wands reversed. And with the King of Wands reversed, you're really going to want to pay attention to make sure that you are not distracted by too many things that are going on uh, when it comes to especially flaky people, superficial behavior, or pursuits that don't really go anywhere. Because the King of Wands reversed is, it's kind of a warning about the King of Wands reversed, but it's also a warning that you don't necessarily get sucked in either. Because we have a lot of really good energy coming, right? With that King of Swords, the Empress, the Justice card. We really don't want to necessarily uh, delay or throw off our game by kicking our feet up and just doing nothing about it. As I say to you know everyone, watching a reading doesn't count as doing the work. You actually have to do the work. And with the King of Wands reversed, you may find that something could get tarried, delayed, or compromised due to irresponsible behavior. You know whether this is something that you're putting off, or you're taking on too much work, or you are sharing information, sharing energy with the wrong people, or you may find that you've suddenly become so distracted we're not really holding the right attention span for the right things make sure that you stay grounded right forget the king of wands reversed we are doing the king of swords this month as we get on to the relationship zone love romance and partnerships you've got the four of wands upright and this is going to be a very sweet month when it comes to love because we are securing a foothold towards taking another big step in a uh, relationship journey or in a commitment that we have going on right now. A lot of you may actually be stepping it up um, and, you know, have going through a bit of a ch status change, a relationship status change, if you've been maybe seeing 
somebody casually or you know you've not necessarily put a label on it the four of wands upright could absolutely indicate that this is a step up for you some of you who've already been in uh you know existing relationships may also find that the four of wands is moving you on to the next milestone in this relationship there could i call this the cause for celebration card for a reason uh, this could be a huge breakthrough whether it's you know finding a, a new place to live or setting up shop in a, a new social group possibly yes for some of you this could be that meet the friends meet the family kind of month and a, a lot of the four of wands is talking about setting up a completely new platform in and of itself to build a new chapter of this relationship on. This could also come with some wonderful news coming from the external, either something that is coming to both of you from friends and family, right? Contributors, big news, time to get on, get a move on. Or this could be also coming from a major accomplishment uh, that either you or a partner or both are having. Uh, for those of you who are currently single or available or looking for somebody new, it's highly likely that you will meet somebody this uh, month that actually you will meet through either some kind of group or maybe an occasion. This could be a, a birthday party. This could be a, a barbecue. This could be even something online, like a big group thing, a big group chat or whatever. Uh, or possibly with the Four of Wands, you are meeting somebody that ultimately you know, is connected to something that you are trying to uh, move yourself towards, orient yourself towards, you know, possibly something that you're doing for your own passion, your own craft, your own fun, your own recreation. Again, this could be a group meeting or uh, maybe a regular getup or something like that, you know, a party, a dance group, an enthusiast group of some kind, a special interest group of some kind. But it's really shining bright for you. I mean, this is something that you are able to Again, secure a foothold for a really promising bond here as well. As we get on to your September beginnings, right? How we start September, you have the Three of Wands reversed, crossed with the Devil card upright. And we are brought back to the reminder that you may be missing out on something due to a distraction, due to an attachment or due to some kind of manipulation of information going on. And it's going to be very important for you to pay attention to what could be going on in that way. Now, whether this is the result of the King of Wands reversed or the Seven of Swords upright, of course, that remains to be seen. But be so careful about what, you know, has been maybe pulling your attention away from your prize or from your goals. What has been distracting you? Have you been way too involved in something else or has the wool been pulled over your eyes what brings this about and this could also be something that happens towards the end of october is the four of swords reversed and so a lot of hasty decisions a lot of fast movements a lot of quick on the fly uh, commitments or transformations that are not necessarily very well grounded or very secure may actually be distracting you in some way. We could be kind of doing a lot of late nights. Maybe work is taking up a lot of our time. Maybe we're socializing a lot, really delving into a lot of that happy relationship energy to the point where we're not thinking enough about other things. The Four of Swords reversed is warning you that some, you, something could be giving you the slip or it's possible something already has. And you are getting a chance to recover it right in the beginning of this month, but you want to make sure that things are in balance. Remember the justice card, balance, 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 moderation and discipline, because we don't want to miss whatever opportunity this three of wands reversed is bringing to the table, right? right? Whether this is an important date, an important meeting, of course, you know, with the four of swords reversed, we may be thinking and moving too quickly to be paying enough attention. So make sure we're not getting distracted and make sure that we reveal all information that we require and that we pay attention to where someone or something may be keeping important information away from us that uh, we do need to know. As far as what's going away this month, you got the hangman upright. This month, you are leaving a stage of your life where you have maybe been stuck waiting to respond 
to the cues and the prompts from your environment. If you have been in a situation where you've been chronically made to wait, whether it's on the decisions of other people, bosses, you know, authority figures or collaborators and peers, all kinds of business processes, that's going away. Because the hangman leaving is indicating here, okay, now it's time for you to get your head in the game, right? You, you've become the king of swords. You have now come to the place where you are the leader of what's going on and the facilitator of what's going on. Anything that has been delayed or blocked or stalled is now starting to get moving and all moving parts in this situation require your attention. And that may actually be what catches you off guard with the four of swords reversed. Maybe you got so used to things being uh, on a chronic <laughs> delay or things always coming slowly, always waiting for the next date, always waiting for the next thing. Oh yeah, no, you're not gonna be able to do that this month. You are going to have to maintain the initiative. Stay proactive, okay? Because we've got a lot of good stuff coming. Don't go about it with the same ethic you had last month or the month before. As we get on to what is happening with the back half of the month, right? The middle of the month, the end there, we've got the Ten of Swords reversed and the Hierophant reversed. Now, the Ten of Swords reversed is kind of interesting here because Regardless of what's going on with some of the shady business we talked about with this reading, you are either dodging a bullet because you have caught the situation and reversed it, as per the Justice card upright, or you have, maybe it did happen, but with the Ten of Swords reversed, we are reversing the situation. We are reviving the good that we lost. So the most important thing you can do is stay involved. Because the Ten of Swords reverse is indicating something is coming back on the table that you thought was lost or broken for good. Or you are saving something from certain doom. <laughs> and I feel like it does tie back into what we were talking about there. However, with the Hierophant card reversed at the end of the month, it's going to be time to pay attention to where we have to adjust our priorities and our value system because there may be things that kind of play us like a fiddle every once in a while, because maybe it's from, uh, you know, familiar people or familiar culture or familiar background or familiar priority or similar likes, similar dislikes. Well, if we get kind of drunk on the similarities there, we may not necessarily see where that person or that situation isn't able to help us when <laughs> we're dealing with something neither of us have any ability to adapt to. So what the King of Swords is doing with that uh, Hierophant card reverse is saying, this is a time where your value system, what pushes your buttons, what you care about and what you prioritize and what you put first has to go through a major change so that not only you can have and manifest what is showing up here with that Empress, with the Four of Wands, with the Justice card, with the King of Swords, but also keep it for longer than just one month. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.